Hello and welcome to another informative session by Pathfinder for me. This time on our agenda is IPMAT interview. IPMAT results have just been announced and many of you now are starting to prepare for the interview process. And some of you inquired with us on how can we prepare for the interview process. So I thought I would reply to you by coming out with a video on the same. So here is our first video on the IPMAT interview process. Five important question types asked at an IPMAT interview. Now this is a generic session. It can apply to any of the IPMAT interview processes. Before you start, if you are here by mistake, if you are, a, if you are an IPMAT 2023 aspirant, here is something for you. If you are looking at strategic inputs for IPMAT preparation, you can subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you are looking for content related uh, inputs, especially content related to quantitative aptitude and higher math, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. And if you are preparing for IPMAT 2023 and you look for some help, you can join our batch starting on 25th of July. Uh, we have live classes online and offline. We have live doubt classes, recorded videos, we have ebooks, we have mock tests, we have topic wise tests, section tests, GK and general studies sessions, and the CUET preparation is included in our module. So if you're looking for these things, just inquire with us on 9343921347 or 9522924688. And if you already have a call from any of the IIMs for the IPMAT interview, here is something for you. you know, without writing your name, just define yourself in three words. What you have to do is just define yourself in three words and place your three words in the comments to this video. And then send the following WhatsApp message 95222. Uh, you know, you need to send the message to this number. Free IPMAT interview with your YouTube ID. So with the same ID on which you have mentioned these three words. And we will provide you one free interview with analysis. One free interview with analysis. From the perspective of IPMAT interview. So if you are looking to get this free interview, you are welcome to comment and message to us. Let us get started with the questions. Obviously, every IPMAT interview will have some standard type of questions which appear in each of these interviews. So we thought we would categorize these questions and that will help you, you know, uh, prepare for these questions in a more methodical manner. So generally IPMAT interviews, in fact, nowadays most of the interviews are very conversational. So it's not like they'll ask you questions one after the other. Questions will be created based on what answers you give during the interview process. So you will feel that the interview is more like a conversation unless you try to act smart in the interview or you do something, you know, which makes the interviewer do otherwise. <laughs> Here are five very common question types that appear in any IPMAT interview. The HR questions, and I'll come to each of these types. You have academic questions, you have questions related to career plan, you have general awareness questions, you have question tasks or general questions. So these are some of the question types, you know, on which you will be asked questions during the interview process. First and foremost, HR questions. Now, HR questions are basically questions on you, your life, your strengths, your hobbies. So these questions will be more to identify what sort of a person you are. So what are the questions like? Tell me something about yourself. You can ask this question in numerous ways, you know. Introduce yourself. How would your friends describe you? Introduce yourself in two, three sentences or two, three words, depending on what the examiner wants. And another way to ask the same question is, imagine this is year 2035. Introduce yourself. Now, this is a very, very tricky question to answer because this is more than your introduction. Then HR questions can be based on your strengths and weaknesses. And there can be many ways in which you can ask questions based on your strengths and weaknesses. For example, what would your friends describe as your strengths and your weaknesses? 
so now you have to look at yourself from your friends or your parents perspective and the question is very similar but you know the viewpoint the you have to view yourself from a third person's point of view what is your biggest accomplishment till date what qualities of yours helped you achieve the same did you participate in activities social groups in colleges for example your college may have clubs there could be a debate club there could be a group discussion club there could be a marketing club and so on so did you participate in these activities what is your biggest failure till date what were the reasons again they are trying to identify how you responded to a failure how do you contribute to your society in what way now obviously everybody is a citizen of this country and contributes by being a good citizen but apart from this how else do you contribute to the society do you do something for the poor for the needy for or for the other downtrodden sections of the society that tells me something about you as an individual describe a tough situation that you may have faced in your life and why should we select you so basically these are all group of hr questions and i am not trying to answer in this video or i am not trying to tell how you can answer these questions but this is just a list of questions or kind of questions which you need to prepare yourself on next we have questions related to career so obviously if you are joining an ipmat program or ipm program they would like to know what are your future plans you know how, how do you view your career so they would want to know you know the reasons behind joining the ipm program you know and the questions could be why do you want to pursue an ipm program this is a direct question or they could ask it indirectly you know tell us three benefits of joining the ipm program for you so it's another way of asking why do you want to join the ipm program or why i am in door you know just another way of asking a similar question or they could ask you what are your career goals where do you see yourself 3 5 10 20 years from now what is your dream job which is your dream company so they are just trying to find out whether you've thought through any of the any of your uh, you know you've thought through your career plans or not and you know another way of asking your career goals is imagine this is year 20 35 i gave you this question as an hr question but this is also your career related question imagine this is 20 35 now introduce yourself obviously 20 35 is approximately uh, 13 years from now so it's nothing but your 10 year 10 year career plan next we have academic questions and academic questions will be generally based on your own background in 11th and 12th so if you're a pcm student you might be asked questions related to physics maths or chemistry uh, if you're a student of accounts they will ask you questions based on accounts questions can also be based on what subject you treat as your subject of interest or a strong subject so for example if you're a student of accounts they could ask you questions related to balance sheets questions like why does a balance sheet tally so if you know your double entry system you will immediately be able to answer this question these are not questions which are very tough to answer mostly basic questions theoretical questions on accounting principles you know good accounting principles methods of calculating depreciation so you should be able to describe i do not expect that they would give you a problem to solve in the interview you know interviews will not be a place where they they will be giving you a complicated question to solve but they definitely want to test whether you have your fundamentals in order business studies they will ask you the difference between need and want you know if you're a student who studied marketing at some point of time in your undergraduate majors and un undergraduate study they might ask such questions or they might ask you uh, post core so if you have studied if you've done business studies you would you would identify this word this term and what it means now which of these is the most important function such questions can appear so questions will be theoretical questions can also be applied depending on who the examiner is you know i expect that somebody coming from an industry is expected to ask a question that is more applied then you can have a question on maths maths you can expect questions on functions and graphs they can say that okay draw this is a function 
mod log of mod x. Now draw a graph of this function. And you are you're expected to understand functions and graphs. Again, they won't give you very complicated graphs to draw. This is a pretty simple graph. If you know logarithms, you will easily draw this graph. Or they can, they can ask you to find out range domain for a particular function. Very simple. Not, not something very, you know, very uh, complicated. They can ask you questions related to set theory. They can ask you logic puzzles. They can ask you simple definitions. Okay. So, you can expect such things in an interview if you are a math student. For physics students, they can ask you basic laws, Newton's laws. No, Newton's three laws are very common. In Einstein's theory, Bernoulli's principle, centripetal and centrifugal force and Again, not in-depth question. You don't, don't expect questions like they ask you in JE mains or JE advanced. Something that are elementary, which you can find definitions and theories in NCRT textbooks. Then application related to questions. You know, they can ask you to describe the functioning of a stethoscope or a thermometer. Again, depends on who is interviewing you. Because if you look at an examiner, an average interviewer, he would be around 35, 40 years of age. So expecting him to ask you a lot of technical questions unless he is himself teaching that subject is, is asking for a bit too much. Most of these questions will be applied and they can ask you, you know, you're sitting on a chair and they can ask you how does Newton's third law of motion apply here? You know, does it apply? And then you may have to answer such a question. Then. If you're a student of economics, they can ask you about supply and demand. They can ask you about price elasticities. They can ask you about national income, fiscal policies. They can also ask you about RBI and monetary policy. They can ask you utility, law of diminishing marginal utility. I have seen this question asked so many times. They can also ask you questions related to basic statistics, mean, mode, median, you know, box plot, scatter plots and things like that. Psychology, they can ask you theories of motivation leadership, communication, they can ask you about learning, conditioning, development stages. They can also ask you things like Maslow's hierarchy theory. So these are very, very common academic questions that appear, keep appearing, you know, they keep repeating. Then you have questions related to general awareness. And what kind of questions? They can be related to current affairs, they can be related to static GK. Current affairs can be related to state elections or any popular sport. Or, for example, related to recent events. For example, very recently, you know, some there was an uprising in Sri Lanka. You know, people actually stormed the presidential palace in Sri Lanka. So they could ask you questions related to that. Why? The, why did that happen? Or do you think something like this could happen in India? You know, which countries did our prime minister visit recently, or who were the dignitaries visiting India recently? So all kinds of current affairs questions can be asked to you. They are relevant events and very very current they could also ask you questions about you know newspaper that you may have read in the morning you know did you read the newspaper today what was the news that you read static gk they could ask you questions on panchayati raj on budget on politics on india your state your city etc so all in all they can practically ask you all kinds of questions in an interview something that will keep the conversation going something that will help them understand you better as a person, as an individual. And they also are trying to see your fit for a role as a manager in future. Then, oh, they can give you one minute topics. You know, bread always falls on the buttered side, you know, one, one example. Or should Virat Kohli retire? You know, should India have a two party system? So they can ask you a task, they can ask you to speak for one minute. They may or may not give you much time to think or they could give you a situation related to decision making. They can ask you a situation related to your attitude and they would like to see your response or a general question. You know, what have you been doing since morning? You've been waiting since morning for three hours and you had your interviews. Uh, suppose you came for the interview at 10, you reported at 10 and your interview was at 2. Then they might ask you what were you doing for four hours? Okay, who is your idol and why? How can we bring Mount Everest into India? So they can ask you all kinds of questions which will which they feel will help them understand you as a person. So friends, 
finally i would like to say that preparing for interview is tricky but as i always suggest to the students first of all know yourself know your reasons for joining an ipm program understand the environment where you live in and know your subjects well especially the subjects that you studied in 11th and 12th and do not try to assume anything right an interview the outcome of an interview is like the schrodinger's cat you will never know till the result is out whether you will be selected or not but if you prepare for questions that have mentioned in these interviews or if you prepare for questions similar to the ones that i have mentioned in this video definitely it will help that's all for me now thank you very much